This is Kevin Morse again. Welcome back uh, to York Construction Academy. We are going to do a quick session on rafter layout. This is a, a uh, process that sometimes uh, can be somewhat complicated, but there are certain aspects of the tools that we use now that uh, make your life a little bit easier. So basically, on a pitched roof, um, you are dealing with uh, a pitch that's based on 12 uh, or 5. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 512. It could be an 812 pitch, which is steeper. It could be a 1212 pitch, which is very steep. Uh, but for today, we're going to uh, do a 512 pitch. So, uh, under normal circumstances, most of your rafters would be larger than a 2x4, but if you're doing your own shed at home, uh, this would be a sufficient size to, to uh, make a rafter. So, the first thing I'd like to highlight, uh, on a common gable roof, um, you're going to be using a series of common rafters. So on the blade of your rafter uh, square, your uh, carpenter square, there's a rafter table. And on the first line, common rafter length per foot run. That's the line that you want to look at. So it's as simple as going to the pitch that you'd like to have the roof. And in our case, we're going to do a 512. And we're looking underneath the 5 to get that number. And the number in this case is 13. So what that represents is there's 13 inches uh, on the hypotenuse. The whole system is based on Pythagorean theorem uh, of a right angle triangle. So you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we know the two variables of 12 inches going in. It's always based on a foot run going into your building. Uh, so we know that variable in 512 pitch. We know the second variable, which is 5 inches. And what we're trying to find out is the hypotenuse of the triangle, which in this case is 13. So all you simply have to do is take your rafter, uh, your tape, um, carpenter's square, and you put it on the 5 and the 12. And then you're going to lay the square right on your rafter, and you're going to where the 5 and the 12 meet. On the edge of the 2x4, you're just going to scribe that line. And that will give you your first plum cut. There are three plum cuts and one seat or level cut in any given rafter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our skill saw and cut our first plum cut. Part of the reason it's easiest to do that is now you have something to hook your tape measure on to get your measurement. So in a case where you have an eight foot wide building, the building distance is called the span of the building. Half of the span is called the run. So if you have an eight foot building, then the total run of the building in that case would be four feet, which gives you four units of run which is what is being referred to on the square here. So all you have to do is multiply 4 times 13 in this case, and that gives you 52. Uh, and then that will give you what's called your point length. So I'm going to hook my tape on the end now, and I'm going to measure, but that 52 represents the edge of the building to the center of your ridge board. So you have to deduct three quarters of an inch from the 52, which gives you 51 and a quarter because your ridge is also inch and a half thick. So our actual rafter length is 51 and a quarter. So I'm simply hooking my tape on the end of the first plumb cut, measuring 51 and a quarter. And then I'm going to take my square and put it back on the 512 measurement or pitch that I had before. If you have an overhang, which most buildings do, uh, you can calculate that right away as well. Um, in this case, I'm going to do a 12 inch overhang. So because the fascia board is also inch and a half on the square, I'm going to just lay out 10 and a half inches because once we put the rafter in, we will have a fascia board that caps the end of the rafter. So I'm going to 
put that at 512 as well. And all in one fell swoop, I've got all three of my plum cuts. Now, you just take your square and you flip it over and you square off the bird's mouth. This whole section of the rafter is called the bird's mouth. In our case here, in the building behind you, uh, behind me, we have a two by four exterior wall. So I'm going to make that measurement there three and a half inches because a two by four is actually three and a half inches in reality. And now I'm going to cut my bird's mouth there. I'm go back to my skill saw. And that's Rafter Layout 101. We hope to see you here at York Construction Academy. Thanks for watching.